Welcome everyone. Today we're going to explore how to customize themes in the wizard. To start, let's open the wizard by clicking on the wizard icon here in your toolbar. Step one is to choose what photos and videos you like. So let's just hit the add icon, select some photos and hit open. And this will populate some images for us to work with. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit next in the bottom right and this will take us to step two. Here's where you'll choose your music. For this tutorial, we're not really gonna need music, but feel free to add some if you like. Just know that themes really don't involve it, so we'll just hit next to go to step three. And here's where we're actually gonna be able to choose a theme or create our own. Now, a theme is basically a grouping of effects, both slide styles and transitions, that the wizard applies to create your show. So by creating your own themes, you're in control of choosing which effects you want the wizard to use. So let's take a look at how it all works. To create your own theme, start by clicking on the Add icon to open the Create a New Theme window. Here's where you'll name your new theme, so I'm gonna call this one Holiday. And you'll also decide how you wanna get started. And you'll notice that you have two options. This first option is to use the default set of effects, which means you'll start with all available effects selected. This other option is for working off an existing theme, and we'll take a look at this option later. But for now, let's just choose the use the default set of effects, and we'll hit OK to open the edit theme window. And here is where you're gonna decide which effects you want to include with your theme. Take note at the top, you can change your theme name if you like, but let's focus in on the left-hand side of the window. This is where you can navigate the categories for your different slide styles and transitions. Remember that slide styles are the effects that are applied to your slides and the transitions are the effects that are applied between your slides and they determine how one slide gets to the other. You have an all category for each your transition and slide styles so you can view a full listing of your slides and transitions on the right hand side. You also have subcategories for each for a faster way to navigate to specific effects. So as you select your different categories, the individual effects will populate here on the right-hand side in alphabetical order. Creating your theme comes down to checking the boxes for the effects you want to include and unchecking the boxes for the effects you don't want to include. The numbers next to your categories represent how many of the effects are currently selected out of the total for the category. So this helps you see how many of each type of effect you've included with your theme. To quickly select all or deselect all, you can use these options down here. So by hitting none, it'll deselect all of your uh, effects and all will, will select all of them. So you may find that for themes that require less effects, you may want to start with selecting none and then going in and checking the specific effects that you're going to want to include. After you've customized your theme based on your slide styles and transitions that you want to use, hit apply and you'll notice that your new theme will be added to your list. So from here, you can remove your themes. So for any reason you want to delete a theme you've created, you can do so. Just take note, you can't remove pre-existing themes. Uh, you can also edit your theme. So if for some reason you want to come back and maybe check on some different effects or uncheck some ones you don't like, you can make those edits to your theme. And as we mentioned earlier, if you want to click on a pre-existing theme from the list and then click on add, you can start customizing your theme based on that theme. I'm just going to call this one birthday too, just to show you how it works. So just, just so you know what I did, I clicked on birthday, I hit add, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the effects selected in the current theme. So this is a way you can actually create your theme based off of one that's already there for you. So let's say you really like our birthday theme, but you may want to add a couple more effects that weren't included. You can just come in here and just check on some more effects and then hit apply. And you'll notice that you'll have your new theme as well as the original. So you can use either or. And after your, after your theme's created, just go ahead and select it just like any other one, hit next and then hit create. And that's all there is to it. The wizard will then build your show using the effects that you customized in your theme. All right, so that's all there is for this tutorial. I wish you guys great luck with your future creations. And until next time, have a great one.